It is 11th heaven for the Summerlot family. Uh, Roger Summerlot's been a football coach for the last 33 years. The last 23 at Pocahontas High School. And of course, it takes 11 players to make up a football team. Well, at home, along with his wife, Jerry, there are nine children bringing in the number 11 one more time. And they have time to fit in fellowship of Christian athletes. And that perfect symmetry has made for a fruitful life. Uh, I'd never considered myself a veteran coach, but I've just noticed the last few years I'm one of the older guys around that's left because some of the guys that were older than me are out now. So um, uh, definitely much more veteran level, even at FCA camp. Has it become easier or not, you know, coaching and, and what you're involved with FCA? Do you find that uh, it just kind of flows out of you more because of what experience is? I guess? Well, I think the experience as far as how to, how to run a program and do things, that part's not as hard as it used to be. Uh, I think working with kids now is different than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. So um, just uh, that, that part's harder, and, and I'm learning to adjust to that because uh, it was definitely different when I started. How receptive are the kids, whether it's football knowledge or presenting the gospel of Jesus Christ, too? Do you find them to say, you know what, I, I want to hear it. I, want, I do want to hear the truth. I, I think kids really deep down want to know, uh, you know, the truth about the gospel message. And, and FCA has been such a great platform for us at, at the high school level to be able to have the freedom to share the gospel with other people. And, and uh, we've been fortunate over the years to have a lot of kids go to camp. Uh, when we started, kids were going to camp in the early 90s. We did get three or four, and then it went to seven, and then it went to 13, and now we're at the 20-some range per year going to camp, and that really helps uh, helps your high school group go uh, because they're fired up because they get to come to camp and see other coaches, and and uh, you know, like in football, they get to hear other men, huddle leaders, and coaches share their faith with them, uh, plus find out about men that uh, really care about. Uh, them as an athlete and not anything else and they love the speakers and the band at FCA camp so all that experience is really good. Uh, having the huddle at our house has just been so much fun getting to know the high school kids and just another mom to them that's really fun. Mm -hmm. I love the network that we build here so there's other coaches wives around the state that you know are that care as much as you do about the kids and about the job that they're husbands are doing mm -hmm. and I'm sure you're to the point where kids are coming back too. I mean how meaningful is that part that you know you get that affirmation neat. I guess that's really neat and what's really fun I think the most fun for Roger with his job is when graduates come back you know when they're done with college even and it's just really fun to see them come back mm -hmm. so many times when we approach people hey we'd love to get you involved at FCA I don't have time you know, you can, you can work it into your life, can't you? you know? <laughs> Talk about sure. that part, you know? Yeah. What would be your encouragement to those people? Um, well, we find, we find help for, like, the meals on Wednesday nights. That is a lot of work. And um, some of the parents are willing to donate money or food and just help out. So we delegate a lot. And um, it, it makes the rest of your life worthwhile to have a ministry like this. Mm -hmm. And when you're, uh, when it's a ministry of excellence too, I mean, the materials are phenomenal right mm -hmm. now too. How much of a burden is it? You know, I mean, do you find that, you know, that it's, it's kind of simple? You know, I mean, I think the, the FCA Bible itself is, you know, if you can, if you can read, you can lead kind of thing. Yeah. Our group itself that meets at our um, home is student-led for the Bible study. And so we help the kids out with, you know, we want them to include some scriptures, and Roger especially will help them out learning how to lead a study. But we just have a short time, and so Roger's good about listening to the study and bringing out more scriptures and more discussion questions. But they like it to be student-led. Mm -hmm. And the FCA Bible itself is very handy for that. They can get a lot of resources just from that alone. Now all nine of the Summerlot children have experienced FCA camp at some level. And of course, mom and dad are involved this week. Roger as football coach and Jerry as coordinator of the children's program. And she says the camp theme, in the zone, fits in nicely even with the younger crowd. Yeah, we like to bring the same message to the small ones and um, just bring it to their level. And so that's really fun. And it, you'd be amazed how much they pick up and even carry over into chapel time. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, I guess too now, as, as you look back on what's been such a fruitful life and enjoyable life too, I mean, no regrets, right? I mean, uh, like you said, you have, sure. you have children spread out uh, age-wise and stuff, a lot of them, and uh, you've stretched, you, you've shared your life with so many other people.
how meaningful is that at, at, at your, in that reflective state, I guess. You know? Yeah, it's fun to be able to see um, all the different ages of, of kids. And uh, I still have some of those kids of my, my older ones are 26 and 25 and 24. And just to have their friends still on my list, still praying for those kids and just to see that go over really what would be a couple generations for most families is still ours, <laughs> so one generation. <laughs> It's just really fun to see when when the light bulb goes on for a football player. You know, it's not just the physical things, but the internal things that are involved. And when that light bulb goes on, and, and they're they're going to give you 100%. That's really neat, and they're very teachable and coachable and moldable, and want to play together and have that team aspect. At FCA camp, and. and uh, and even at home in our FCA, when they add the spiritual part to it, that's that's just really, really neat. And uh, just uh, this week, when I was introducing our huddle leaders with our coaches as we're getting ready for camp, one of the huddle leaders is Jesse Simmons, and he was a camper for four years. I coached him in his position. Now he's been four years as a huddle coach, and he just shared that he just wanted to keep coming back because God changed his life at FCA camp. You're doing the punch drill that you did down there with Coach Freeney. You're punching. Boom. It's that punch when you're coming through. A lot of times you can knock that through. Then you're getting that.